Cold War spy satellites reveal hundreds of undiscovered Roman forts. Researchers used images from the first spy satellite program to assess the accuracy of the world's first ever aerial archaeology survey. Scientists analyzing declassified images taken by Cold War era spy satellites revealing the locations of a whopping 396 previously undiscovered Roman forts in Iraq and Syria. Thought to have been built during the 2nd and 3rd century AD, these installations stood at what was then the Eastern Front of the Roman Empire. Forts in this area were actually first discovered by one of the first aerial archaeology surveys ever, conducted in the 1920s by one Father Antoine Poidard, French Jesuit priest, who piloted a biplane during World War I. Poidard recorded a linear set of 116 forts, which he proposed formed a north-south defense line to protect the empire's eastern provinces from Arab and Persian incursions. Instead, however, the new study has revealed hundreds of more forts spread east to west across the region, suggesting they were designed less for defense and more for facilitating trade and communication with neighboring regions. The study was undertaken by archaeologist Professor Jesse Cassana and his colleagues at Dartmouth College in New Hampshire in the United States. Cassana said, since the 1930s, historians and archaeologists have debated the strategic and political purpose of the system of fortifications, but few scholars have questioned Podard's basic observation that there was a line of forts defining the Eastern Roman frontier. To assess the accuracy of the pre-survey, the team took advantage of spy satellite imagery of the Syrian step taken during the 1960s and 70s. And the researcher said these images form part of the world's first spy satellite programs. They preserve a high resolution stereo perspective on a landscape that has been severely impacted by modern day land use changes. The team began by looking for the 116 forts recorded by Podar some of which have not survived the last century. Kassan explained, we were only able to confidently identify extant archaeological remains at 38 of Podard's 116 forts. In addition, many of the likely Roman forts we have documented in the study have already been destroyed by recent urban or agricultural development, and countless others are under extreme threat. By using the forts found by Pedard as references, the team were then able to identify 396 more. And these were distributed across the survey region from east to west, a fact which counters the original argument that the forts represented north-south defensive border. Instead, the researchers now propose that the forts may have been constructed to support inter-regional trade, helping to protect and support caravans traveling between the eastern provinces and the non-Roman territories beyond. If this is correct, it would suggest that the borders of the Roman world were less rigidly defined and exclusionists then uh, prevented uh, be, uh, previously believe, uh, with the, the eastern frontier likely not a place of constant violent conflict. Instead, while the Romans were undeniably a military society, they clearly tr valued trade, communication, and cultural exchange with regions not under their direct control. Given the evidence of the loss of ancient sites to development revealed by their investigation, the study highlights the value of satellite imagery for recording archaeological features before they are lost to history. As more declassified surveillance recordings become available, such as, for example, U.S. reconnaissance images taken by Lockheed U-2 spy planes, new, re new archaeological discoveries will be able to, to be made, and researchers said. Cassana concluded, careful analysis of these powerful data holds enormous potential for future discoveries in the Near East and beyond. The full findings of the study were published in the journal Antiquity, and this is on Express UK by Ian Randall. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.
support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.